On this video, I'm going to compare two televisions that you guys have been asking me to do in the comments. We're going to compare the Hisense U7N against the TCL QM7. A few days ago, I created a community post where I showed both television and most people chose the Hisense. And by the end of this video, you'll know which TV is the best for you and your family. I'm Tech Steve. Let's get into it. Before I start showing you these picture differences, just keep in mind that the Hisense will be in theater night mode and the TCL is in movie mode. One thing I noticed about TCL is that it has a lot of red to it, which is okay to have the red tint to it, but when I switched over to Amazon Prime Video to watch an older black and white movie to test the colors out, it was obvious to me that this TV has way too much red in it. But on a black and white TV show, you might wanna try out a different setting. In temporary, that's exactly what I did. Since I did calibrate this TV previously, I want to show you the difference of how it looks when I switched over from the movie mode over to the calibrated, which I put on the PC mode in the television. As you can see, the white levels on this TV are vastly increased, but is it better than the Hisense even with the calibrated settings? For me, the Hisense still looks a little bit more on the brighter side and a little bit more whiter. As far as upscaling, I think both TVs do a really good job. However, I do notice the Hisense has a little bit more lighting in the building at the top on the 480p. As we switch over to 720p, one thing I do notice is the Hisense appeared to be just a little bit more wider, so it is cropped in just a little bit. And going over to 1080p, again, both TVs are very similar. In some scenes, the TCL appears to be just slightly brighter. And here in 4K, I think both TVs look great reproducing the native signals that's designed for these TVs. So you will be happy with the content displayed as long as it's high resolution. But keep in mind, 4K is the native resolution and always gonna look the best on newer TVs. Now here's the viewing angle on both televisions. And to me, the TCL looks better off axis than the Hisense. Now keep in mind, both of these are VA panels, but if you're gonna put the TV up high, mounted above a fireplace or something like that, I think the TCL is gonna give you better colors when it comes to those different viewing angles. Now here's the back of the Hisense. It's got this indention right here. You can mount it on the wall. There's a subwoofer on the back of it. But one thing I wanna point out here is that you have limited wire maintenance so it doesn't have like a cover. And I'll show you the TCL in just a moment. But it does have plenty of inputs including a USB 3.0, serial connection, four HDMIs. These two are 60 Hertz, but you have eARC for your soundbar. And down here, we have two HDMI 2.1s that can support up to 144 Hertz. ATSC TV tuner, AV input, headphones output, and then you have an ethernet input, fiber optic output, as well as a secondary USB. Here's the back of the QM7. It does have an Onkyo subwoofer system right here, and you have little screw holes so you can mount the wall. One thing about this particular one is behind here, you have your wire maintenance, which you can run down here. So you're gonna run your cables over, go down here. So it's gonna give you a little cleaner look on the front end. So you won't have to see any type of wires. As far as inputs, the TCL has two USBs right there. One of them is 3.0. You also have a ethernet connection, four HDMIs. These top two can support up to 144 Hertz using variable refresh rate. The bottom two are 60 Hertz and you have a separate eARC. So you can hook your gaming consoles to these two and have an output for your soundbar. You also have a TV tuner, you have an AV input using an adapter, a headphone jack, and a fiber optic output. I wanna stop the video right here for a second. I normally pre-record all this footage and then I put it together to show you this information, but I have decided to stop this video after I show you a few last things, and I'm gonna use the calibrated mode in the TCL so I can get rid of some of that red because all my footage is so red that it really wasn't enjoyable for you guys and it won't be a fair comparison. But in the meantime, here's the remote controls that come with both TVs. This is the Hisense, it's got this nice silver look to it. It has backlights and it has voice command for Google. Over here, we have the TCL remote, really nice. It also has voice command for Google and it does have a backlight. Next, we're gonna take a listen to the audio system. First, I'll play the Hisense, and then we'll switch over to the TCL. Then we're gonna to move the to camera and finish up this video because... This is a Tech Steve audio test for the next few moments. Sit quietly and experience the range of this TV's audio capabilities as we test the boundaries of sound.
This is a Tech Steve audio test for the next few moments. Sit quietly and experience the range of this TV's audio capabilities as we test the boundaries of sound. As far as the audio, I like both systems, but it seems like the Hisense has more solid bass and the TCL is a little bit more clearer. But let's go ahead and move these cameras so we can finish doing this comparison and I'll show you some of the settings that we're using as well. So I want to show you this scene right here and now you can see that red look that I was referring to once again. But the interesting thing is when I go into the Hisense, the brightness is only at 52%. And when I go to the TCL, there's a hundred percent brightness. So not sure why the TCL is not going to get brighter, but what I'm going to do is show you the calibration settings that I set up in the television and I did set them up under PC. And as you can see, a lot of that red look went away and now we're back to movie mode. Now an interesting thing, the brightness at hundred percent, but watch this when I switched over to vivid mode. Now the TCL gets really bright. So I'm not sure if they set this up in a certain way where you can't customize the different inputs and just so you know I did go into the TV I did turn off all the different uh, automatic settings I turned the energy savings off but only way I can make this TV brighter is really going into this vivid mode so let's go back to the PC mode again that's the calibrated settings back to vivid and then if I go back to movie 100% so I just find that to be very interesting so I switched over to sports mode in both televisions I didn't change anything else and as you can see here, the TCL does have better greens on it. And I can see the orange on the display a lot better as well. Now, as far as motion, both TVs appears to be very smooth. And again, for everyday TV content, I think you're gonna be fine. But I can still see that brightness difference on the Hisense. It just appeared that the whites are a lot more whiter than the TCL. But in my opinion, both TVs have a really good picture. So personally, I would be satisfied with either one. So I'm going to show you some skin tone tests. So starting out the high sense, this is what it looks like on vivid mode, your standard mode, sports mode, energy savings mode, theater day, which I've been filming this video on. Here's the TCL in vivid mode, low power mode, a feature called smart HDR. You see that movie mode, how it goes to that red kind of look to it. And this might be by design and back to vivid. So it seems like the vivid definitely has the more cooler look to it. But if you like that warm look, I think Movie mode may be good, but you might want to just cut down some of the red levels unless you like the looks that I showed you earlier on in this video. And this is what it looks like after I used the Calmin software on both televisions. And again, that Hisense really has better reds to me. It actually has a lot better colors if you can see that as well. So like I say before, calibration is subjective, but it appears that the Hisense overall appears to be a little bit more overall natural to me. Next, I switched the TVs over to HDR mode, and this is really at vivid mode on both televisions. And as you can see, the TCL still has that red tint to it, and I just can't get over that. But let's go through some of the different settings you have available on the Hisense. So in HDR, this is vivid mode. We have your standard mode, energy savings mode, sports mode, theater mode, and filmmakers mode. So you can see there's a lot of settings in there. And if we go over to the TCL, we have low power mode, sports mode, movie mode, game mode, PC, and IMAX. So these TVs basically have a very similar type of profiles when it comes to IMAX and things like that. And I know that when people see this video, you're probably gonna to think to yourself, I like one TV over the other, but I still like the Hisense picture overall just by doing these demos. One thing that's kind of annoying is that when I was calibrating these TVs, the TCL's menu system disappears about 20 seconds after you press on it. So if you're doing calibration settings in a manual world, then basically you're gonna to have to keep popping up the full menu to get back to the calibration adjustments. Another thing about these two TVs, on the TCL, if you go into expert calibration, this is where you can change all your points and you just turn that on and go through the settings. And watch the menu will disappear when I switch over to Hisense. So if you go into the Hisense, you have to go back to picture, but if you go down here, it says calibrated settings. Under here, you have a lot more options 
In addition to that, if you do have Calmin software, you can turn this on and you can basically set up the software to automatically calibrate the TV, where the TCL, you have to manually do that. But this is what both TVs look like in HDR mode. And again, both TVs are great. I just think the Hisense appears to be more white, but it all really comes down to preference of what you like between the two TVs. Now, if you're a gamer, both TVs do have a game bar on them. As you can see that the Hisense will show you the frames, HDR, if, if it's off or on, variable refresh rate. And then you have like this dark details as well as a more settings. Now, this is what the menu looks like on the TCL. You do have a aiming feature, which you see right there in the center of the screen. You have a high frame rate. And this one does have different genres of games, as you can see right there. It's got a shadow detail enhancer. So both TVs have really good game settings. It just depends on which one you like better as far as the overall look of it. So now let's do some basic gaming on these televisions and both TVs are in gaming mode. One thing I do like about the Hisense is that it shows the frames per second up there. Where on the TCL I had to leave the menu out the whole time so I can't just have that as an option. So here's another example of the picture. And again, the TCL does perform very well on gaming mode. I think on some things the Hisense is a little more punchier. But I'm trying to stay nine bias, showing you this footage so you can judge for yourself which TV is the best. So that's everything I want to show you on this video. And for me personally, I like both televisions in different ways. I like the fact that the Hisense U7N is brighter to me. And I like the fact that all the colors around the box looks more natural. Now the TCL, when I was playing the scenes at the beginning of the video, really punchy, very deep contrast on it but I couldn't help that in some scenes that is red. So if you was to play black and white movies, you definitely don't want to use movie mode because I was getting a lot of red and maybe your television doesn't do that. So take that with a grain of salt. With that being said, I'm not going to make a decision which TV that I want to choose right now. I just think both TVs are really good in their own way, but I do like some of the settings better in the high sense. I like the fact that the menu stays there and I like the fact that if you was to ever get the TV calibrated, it has an automatic setting so it's easier to achieve a better picture with calibrations. What do you guys think? Hisense U7N, TCL, QM7, which TV is for you? Leave a comment below and if you own either of these TVs, tell me what you think because I'd love to hear about it. I'm Tech Steve. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have some great videos coming your way. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.